In this video, I'm gonna show you guys Coxa Bazaar, which is the world's longest sea beach, and show you some of the cool things to do around here. What's up guys, we're at Cox's Bazaar in Bangladesh. Right now we're gonna go check it out and go surfing. Okay, we're running out boards from the Bangladesh Girls and Boys Surf Club over here. This place is really cool. My friend has taken a lesson from here and it's got a really special story that's very inspirational but very heavy so I'll save that for later in the video. Okay, this is day three of surfing. About to try a short board for the first time ever. And I'm going with my childhood friend, Maru. Hi. He's not one of the kids that are training at this camp. He's just uh, stretching with them. I'm one of the kids. But yeah, let's get in the water. Really, really cold in the ocean right now so after every 30 minutes of surfing we're basically coming out to the beach to lie down and warm up a little bit in the sun and then going out again we have this nice little lagoon here where the water is slightly warmer I think my board is just too short for the waves that are out there couldn't catch a lot of waves so I think I might go back in come back out with a long board So we're taking a break from surfing to come out and see these Shampan boats on Inani Beach which is like 20 kilometers away from the main part of Kotsu Bazaar. Now this beach is famous for rocks on the ocean but that's not really anything special to you probably unless you live in Bangladesh. But the cool thing here are these boats that's very unique to Bangladesh or this part of the world. These boats are mostly U-shaped. I mean, so that it can break and it go through the waves. But these goats, goats, <laughs> these goats, goats. goats. <laughs> but these boats go deep sea fishing at night to catch fish and they look really cool. to get close to the boats to get some cool shots some slow motion pans and a big wave came and just got my pajamas drenched. I think we're just gonna head back in now and chill for a little bit and then head back to Coxa Bazaar. Jan 2021 I'm going surfing alone today because my friend is still in bed and it's 2 30 p.m. and I'm putting on this like wetsuit which is a lot more work than I thought it is. It took me like 20 minutes to take it off the first time I took it off two days ago. Right so the waves are supposed to be huge and I'm going out with this six foot board or six foot six board which I'm really not used to but it should be fun. a strong current here. 
I usually get in the water right here, but then I end up like way, way over there. fun session. I didn't really catch a lot of waves. I think I caught one good long wave, but even for that I realized that my GoPro was turned off, but it was a lot of fun. What I realized from this session is that you need to be really fit in terms of paddle fitness to swim out here, especially on the outside, because the current's so strong in there. When I surf in Hawaii, all the waves break outside too, but you just gotta go paddle out, make it there somewhere, and sit there. But over here, the current just drags you like a kilometer away if you're sitting down on your board for like a minute. So you have to be constantly paddling, and I'm not in the best of shape right now. And even paddling out there is kinda tough, because it's wave after wave after wave coming at you. That means that for every 10 feet you go, if the white water from another wave catches your board, you go back another five feet. So you might be going only like 200 meters, but in reality you would be like paddling 800 meters just to get to that spot because you just keep getting pushed back no matter how far you try to go. All right, I also have to talk about the reality of surfing in Bangladesh. The boards that I rented were from this club called the Bangladesh Surf Girls and Boys Club. And they basically run lessons for these kids that you saw throughout the video. It's run by a non-profit organization that's really trying to help out these kids beyond just teaching them to surf. They also provide them schooling opportunities and other opportunities to go ahead in life. All these kids are coming from very, very, very poor backgrounds. In Bangladesh, for like 20% of the population is below the poverty rate. And this is a country where the average person earns less than $200 a month. So these kids have nothing. They're not like me. They don't have a dentist for a parent to look after them, send them to school, whatnot. They had to work from the time they were like five to eight years old until the club took them in and started providing them an education and a monthly allowance for their family to help pay for food and rent. Because without that allowance, these kids would be back out on the streets working again because their parents need money. And these kids are a source of income, as crazy as that sounds. Uh, the crazy part is like some of the younger girls you see are at risk of getting married off to older men as a child. Child marriage is still a problem in Bangladesh and even more so in the poor rural communities. It's a really cool job that this club is doing over here. But the only reason this club is able to do that is because it's gotten a lot of support from nonprofit organizations and donors abroad. And if you want to find out more about them or help them out, I'm posting a link to their website in the description. It should also be here on the screen right about now. Sorry if that last bit got a little bit too heavy, but I wanted to keep it real. This is not some sort of paradise. This is a developing country, a post-colonial country that's come a long way since 1971 but has still a long way to go. I didn't really do much in this vlog, sorry about that. I just surfed six out of the last seven days. <laughs> and I didn't even surf that well. But I promise you the next vlog is gonna be a lot more fun, a lot more eventful. I think that will be from a different country. I'm not sure which one yet, but I guess we'll find out in the next one. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of MTV Cribs. Today we're at Long Beach Hotel, Cox Bazaar. And we have this amazing room with a balcony view of open construction. And, <laughs> and giving him his lesson. Shit, I'm like actually playing with me. <laughs> giving him his lesson is this guy. So he's actually Hello. he's actually one of my fans and he's watched my old stuff too, which is crazy that some people are recognizing me now these days. That I don't know how to ride. 